Material member of parliament uh, and uh, Mao Sampa and uh, Chiangi member of parliament given Katuta. So, uh, good afternoon to you, Father, and uh, uh, what, what has been going on here? It is not a good afternoon, but I still say good afternoon. What has been going on here starting yesterday and maybe even before yesterday is a typical, a classical case of how a scared government can abuse. The criminal justice system can abuse the police to victimize those with dissenting voices. That's what has happened. We had a call out on Thursday for Comrade Dr. Fred Membe, the leader of the Socialist Party, to appear at the Cyber Security Unit here in Lusaka at Force Headquarters on Friday. The police were professional. They understood the fact that he was not able to do that on Friday last week. And we knew why they decided to save or to send the call out on a Thursday for him to appear on Friday, which was a long weekend, so that they would lock him up in the manner they have locked him up. They would lock him up Friday last week, Saturday, Sunday. Then Monday they will have an excuse that it was a holiday and then Tuesday, which should have been yesterday, to continue their tactics, gimmicks, in order to keep him behind bars. So that's what has happened. They are succeeding in trying to frustrate the law. Because the law is very clear. Yesterday, they should have given him police bond. They should have done it today if there was a good excuse not to do it yesterday. But as you can see, we have the sureties. They have been secured. Everything has been done, but the police will not comply. This is one of the rare cases where the police themselves are used to complain against an innocent citizen. We have seen in the past where UPND cadres would complain to the police Usually they would go to a remote place, complain about um, something concerning an innocent citizen. The police will come, bundle that citizen in a vehicle, drive them overnight to that far of place in an effort to intimidate, to destroy the spirit of such an individual in the opposition, mainly with dissenting voices. So this time around, they have used the Deputy Inspector General of Police. This has not happened before. It's unprecedented. And in order to fulfill a futile attempt to mislead the Zambian people, and they would not fall for it, the Inspector General of Police issued a statement ahead of the summoning yesterday. Later on, as Comrade Dr. Fred Membe was in the hands of the police, he issued another statement as if trying to justify the reason why they want to keep him beyond what the law stipulates. So as Socialist Party, we are demanding that Comrade Dr. Fred Membe be released on police bond to go to court and have his day in court. Because we know the reason why they want to keep him too long in the cells and make him suffer and frustrate him and try to break his spirit is because they know that when the matter goes to court, nothing will happen, nothing will happen. But we are sending a strong message to President Akainde Ichirema and the UPND government that they will not succeed. No one has succeeded to break the spirit of our people, to break the spirit of leaders in the opposition who are speaking for the people. Earlier on, we did talk to, uh, to the lawyer, and that is uh, 
Council Simon Mira and he, he updated us early in the morning they did have a meeting with the police at 7 hours and um, in his update he told us that by 11 hours we should see the release of uh, uh, the Socialist Party leader. Uh, what has been the delay? This is now two hours after 13. Uh, do you have any information of what's happening inside? You may also want to know that yesterday the police tried to woodwink us saying that the reason they were not releasing him was because we had a lot of people outside and they asked us to disperse the people we knew it was a lie but we still agreed that the people should go and the people went and nothing happened we know that even today they will not release him what the police said yesterday was that they are still studying the elements of this charge so they arrested him before they were ready to arrest him before they concluded investigations who does that in a civilized world so whether we meet the requirements the sureties that we talked about honorable mouse and honorable Katuta, whether we secure the sureties whether we comply with the law in terms of what is required to secure a bond for him they will not release him because they are acting on instructions from the powers that be that statement yesterday which was read by the inspector general of police was full of language typical of Koswe, that gorilla type of um, uh, warfare media, the Zambian watchdog, and it's very clear that it's written by a known individual from State House given to the Inspector General of Police to read. And we feel sorry for the man. This is a typical case of where you get a retiree who is tired physically and mentally. She put them there, give them a job. And they are replacing somebody who has been fired prematurely for simply saying they are not moving on investigating a matter because there are instructions from State House not to do so. And then you bring this retired man, probably retired in terms of mental faculties as well, yes. put them there yeah. and use them as a puppet. Who expects them to go against the direction in which the puppeteer is pulling the streets, the, the strings I mean. So that's what is happening and it is shameful. We do believe that the man, the Inspector General of Police, last night would not sleep if he has conscience. Because he knows he has disgraced himself, he knows he has done something that no one does. The man did his job, he retired, they called him back. This is the time when you should demonstrate, when you should refuse to compromise your integrity, your professionalism. So that on the last page of your career, what would be there is distinguished service. But the man has allowed himself to be used by politicians. It's shameful. We know very well that if that statement were to be written, by professional police officers who are there to assist him. It will not be in that language. It will not be full of baseless political accusations, including trying to imply that Comrade Dr. Fred Membe should be very careful because people who trade the path that has been trading, something bad happens to them. Do they have plans to kill our leader? Do they have plans to destroy our leader? And for what? This is a democracy. The Socialist Party is, regi is registered as a political party in this country. We have not gone to the bush. We have not been inciting soldiers so that we can take over power and constitutionally, no. The Socialist Party, as all Zambians know, participated in the general elections in this country in 2021. The Zambian people did not elect Comrade Dr. Fred Membe. They elected President Akainde Ichirema. And we recognize him as president of this country yes. with a legitimate mandate, despite the fact that he lied his way into state house. Exactly. And the Bible is very clear. Mm -hmm. He who goes through the window, mm -hmm. he who lies, is, is reversing the gains that we've had, the democratic gains that this country has scored. A number of key uh, opposition, prominent uh, leaders from the opposition political parties have come to support uh, and uh, pay their solidarity to Mr. Membe. How does that make you feel as a party? The members say, Ushiri la mtembo wa mubi, eno wa kwe upo kwa. In solidarity 
they have come to encourage him because they know that we need a strong opposition. We need everyone in this country to be strong yes. because we have a ruthless man in government. Mm. We have a ruthless, corrupt bunch of selfish capitalists in charge of government. Yes. And if the people of Zambia are not united, the opposition included, these people may have a few days abusing our people. Yes. Increasing prices, mm. refusing to put medicines in hospitals. Mm. Somebody was calling me the other the, uh, just uh, yesterday, and I was very emotional to explain that at Kito Central Hospital, the water pipes into the mortuary are blocked. Mm. Mm. The people mm. have to mm. buy mineral water mm. to use pieces of cloth to clean bodies of their loved ones before they go to bury. Mm. And, mm. mm. and yet, you have a government that is moving in big cars contrary to that pronouncement hypocritical pronouncement that they want to sell the big cars because they are consuming too much fuel and so on that is contrary exactly sir. they are enjoying life at the expense of our people they've allowed they have allowed the cost of living to continue skyrocketing mm. and they are not doing anything to alleviate the suffering of our people okay. thank you very True. much uh... allow me also to say allow me also to say that the body of Comrade Dr. Fred Membe is behind bars. So his mobility is limited, but his spirit is not behind bars. His spirit walks with that woman who is being carried on a, on a wheelbarrow to mm. take them to the next, to the health center for them to give birth. Yes. The spirit of Comrade Dr. Fred Membe is with that old woman who mm. is carrying a prescription in mm. the corridors yes. of UTH, mm. Kito Central Teaching Hospital, and so on. Yes. Going away to go and buy medicine because there are no medicines in hospitals. Exactly. That is what is happening for the spirit of President Dr. Membe as in high spirits. Finally, we want to commend our members who have been highly disciplined mm. in line with the socialist spirit. We are asking them to continue with this spirit, not to, in, to inconvenience Thank members you. of the public. Thank to ensure you. that they go about their business and whatever they have to do without us inconveniencing them in any way. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you, sir. Pleasure.